हेलो स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज सिंदेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल योर क्लासरूम एट होम इफ यू रियली वांट टू इंक्रीज योर मैथमेटिक्स स्किल्स सो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल स्टूडेंट इन टुडेस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए फोर क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन क्वेश्चन सेज इफ देयर आर एन जी पी इफ देयर आर एन जी पीज फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ ई जी पी इज वन ऑफ ई जी पी इज वन एंड दे आर कॉमन रेशोज आर वन टू थ्री डॉलर टू एन कॉमन रेशोज आर वन टू थ्री डॉलर टू एन रेस्पेक्टिवली देन प्रूव दैट एस वन प्लस एस टू प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ एस थ्री प्लस डॉटर डॉट एन माइनस वन टाइम्स ऑफ एस एन इज इक्व टू वन टू दावर एन प्लस टू टू दावर एन प्लस थ्री टू दावर एन प्लस डॉटर डॉट प्लस एन टू दावर एन स्टूडेंट जनरली वी रिप्रेजेंट जी पी एज ए आर ए आर स्क्वायर एंड सो ऑन here a is the first term if a is equals to 1 then this sequence can be written as 1 comma r r square and so on sn then the sum of first n terms of the gp is a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 Now, by using this sequence, we can generate GP one, GP two, and so on as. So GP one can be represented as. Here, the first term of the first GP is one, and the common ratio it is given that one. So GP one will be one comma one comma one to n times. Therefore. S one is equals to the sum of first n terms of this GP. So this will be one plus one plus one to n times. So S one will equals to n. Similarly, GP two can be represented as with the help of this sequence. First term is further one, and the common ratio of this second GP is it is given that. Two, so this will be one comma two, two square, and so on to n times. So S two will equals to by using this formula we can find out the sum of first n terms of the second GP. Here A is one and common ratio is two, so S two will equals to two to the power n minus one, two minus one. Is one so s two will equals to two to the power n minus one. Similarly, G P three can be written as the first term of this G P is also one. Common ratio of G P three it is given that three. So it will be one comma three comma three square to n times. Therefore. S three will equals to three to the power n minus one. Three minus one is two upon two. Now G P n can be represented as one n n square to dot dot n times. 
Therefore, Sn of the CP will equal to common ratio is n. So, r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 will be the sum of first n terms of the nth dp. So, n to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1. So, taking LHS, LHS is given that S1 plus S2 plus twice of S3 plus dot dot 2 plus n minus 1 times of Sn. Taking LHS, S1 plus S2 twice of S3 plus dot dot, dot plus n minus 1 times of Sn. S1, we have found out n. S2, we have found out 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 2 times of S3. S3 is here 3 to the power n minus 1 upon 2. 3 to the power n minus 1 upon 2 plus dot dot n minus 1 times of Sn. Sn is n to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1. n to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1. So, student, here 2 and 2 will cancel out. Similarly, n minus 1 and n minus 1 is cancelled out. Now, open these brackets. Implies that n. Now, add minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 to n minus 1 times. So, this will be minus 1 into n minus 1. Now, the remaining terms will be 2 to the power n plus 3 to the power n plus dot dot to n to the power n. 2 to the power n plus 3 to the power n plus dot dot n to the power n. Now, open this bracket with minus n. Implies that minus n minus minus plus 1 plus 2 to the power n plus 3 to the power n plus dot dot plus n to the power n. Here plus n minus n will cancel out. So the remaining term will be 1 plus 2 to the power n plus 3 to the power n plus dot dot plus n to the power n. 1 can be represented as 1 to the power n. 1 to the power n plus 2 to the power n plus 3 to the power n plus dot dot plus n to the power n. This is nothing else. This will be our right hand side. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, verified. So, student, in today's lecture, I have solved a good question related to geometric progression. So, keep watching my videos and keep practicing. Thank you. Take care.